Hello everyone, this is Chris Cresents. Uh, we're gonna do another uh, walk-in video in downtown Chicago. We're gonna start from Streeterville. The time is about 2.15 p.m. on uh, Tuesday, September 13, 2022. And then what you see over here on the left is the Museum of Contemporary Art. And there, is, there, is a, there was a farmer's market. They're about to shut it down for now until two o'clock so it's over they're just taking the stuff away and uh, we're on Mais van der Oja way now walking towards uh, towards Chicago Avenue and then we're gonna take Chicago Avenue going west towards Michigan Avenue and we're gonna take Michigan Avenue and uh, go to the loop and I'm, I'm uh, actually uh, going to Walgreens uh, pharmacy on Randolph and State to get my uh, my third uh, COVID booster or as they call it uh, the fifth shot just came out and uh, it covers both the original COVID uh, variant and also the Omicron uh, variant BA4 and BA5. All right, as you can see, there's a lot of traffic here on Chicago Avenue. Very, very busy day. It's a beautiful day. It started a little bit cool, like 60 degrees. Now it's about 70 and it's about to go to 80 today. So it's going to be anywhere between 70 and 80 degrees in this video. And I'm going to show you this uh, firehouse. We've been here since the 1800s. It's ambulance 11 and uh, fire engine, I believe, 98. That's the Chicago Fire Department old building here. And then right behind it, I'm going to show you the water... Uh, Power Place residences on the John Hawkins Center, right over there. I'll take a picture. The good thing about this camera, it lets me take pictures and video at the same time. So this is the fire department, and an ambulance 11 is responding to a medical call, as you can see. I guess timing is everything. And just for the record, uh, a disclaimer, I don't show you any uh, crime in progress or violence uh, in this video, but I do show you the ambulances, the police cars, and the fire trucks, and there are, there are sounds, because I like that sound, it's like a Chicago downtown sh sound that you hear very often. But you will not see any crime in progress, if anything, happens like that I take it out of the video and give it to the authorities now here it is again I'm gonna show you again the John Hawkins Center about a hundred stories tall on the left and then the uh, water tower place uh, residence is on the right about 70 to 80 stories tall and this is the old uh, water tower one of the two buildings uh, from the 1800s to survive the great Chicago fire of 1871 there's another one on the other side which is also called uh, old water tower all right now we're uh, we're approaching Michigan Avenue and we're gonna take Michigan Avenue south and go all the way to uh, as far as we can go actually my appointment for my COVID shot is not until 4.15 so I have uh, two hours uh, to film a video so this video is going to be at least an hour maybe more I try to get there uh, the long way all right this is Chicago Avenue and Michigan Avenue as you know uh, this is the second building I was talking about of the water the old water tower all right, and this is the number one uh, most famous city in Chicago, Chicago, I mean, it's Michigan Avenue, you can see it's traffic, the bus is trying to make a 
turn here. A little bit of a traffic congestion here. And we just waiting for the red light to, to turn green so we can cross for pedestrians. This is uh, Michigan Avenue and this is Chicago Avenue. I'm showing you the buildings here while I'm waiting for the light. And I'm also having a little bit of sun glare in the video, but the video, the camera usually takes care of that. So you won't be able to, to notice that in the video. But I, right now I cannot really see what's in the picture. All right, this is uh, Chicago Avenue and uh, Michigan Avenue. And then we're going, uh, going south of Michigan Avenue. And then we're on the sidewalk. Again, the, the, the day started a little bit cool, 60 degrees. Now it's warming up fast. It's about 70 right now. By the time we get to three o'clock, according to the uh, to the weather people, it's supposed to be uh, 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which is actually not very hot, perfect for a walking video. So we're gonna stay on Michigan Avenue and walk south. And you can see the light. As you can see, uh, it looks like they're doing some work on Michigan Avenue. You see, you see the pavement here uh, with the cones. I don't see any uh, construction uh, vehicles. They probably do that at night, like late, late at night. But as you can see, they're uh, redoing the pavement, so we'll see in the days ahead how it's going to look like. I'm sure it's going to look really, really beautiful. And uh, now we're in the corner of Superior and Michigan Avenue. We just got the, we just got the green light. So we're just going to be walking. Again, the pavement, uh, Michigan Avenue at this at this juncture here, you can see is a little bit uh, uneven. But look at these beautiful flowers, and then look at these beautiful trees right on uh, on Michigan Avenue. Beautiful, beautiful picture. And if you like my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe underneath this video. And try not to skip the ads before, during, and after the video. That helps uh, promote the channel around the world. And if you want to contribute uh, to the channel, just uh, click uh, thanks below and and uh, follow the instructions for a super thanks uh, comment. Now we're approaching Huron, Huron and Michigan Avenue. Again, it's 2.25 p.m. on uh, Tuesday, September 13, 2022. I'm going to show you the corner of Michigan and Huron while waiting for the green light. There you go. That's the Omni Hotel, by the way, right around the one on the right. And uh, we got the green light. And uh, we're still going... Uh, south of michigan avenue now it's getting more and more more and more and more crowded now this street is always crowded uh, they are 24 7 all year round rain or shine And you some some uh, rappers here uh, promoting their music. I think I filmed them before. I'm gonna keep going now. Now look at all, look at all the dust on Michigan Avenue from the construction. Look at that. Look how dusty. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna curse the street. I got the red light, but. Nobody's coming. 
So this is Erie Street, Erie and uh, Michigan Avenue. So there's a lot of dust in the air here. This is not, I don't want you to think it's uh, the weather or anything like that. It's from the street. Actually, there, there is one truck, it says paving. So they may be doing work during the day as well. But I, my guess is they're doing this at night. And it looks like they're, going, they're doing the entire uh, section of Michigan Avenue, it looks like it. But I'm sure it's gonna look real, real nice after they finish the work. Now we're approaching Ontario and uh, Michigan. We still got the, uh, the green light. Very, very, very rarely I get yeah. all the green lights. <laughs> Which is a good thing. I'm not in a rush though because I don't have to go to the pharmacy until like 4.15 and now it's 2.30 so I still got another two hours. Almost two hours to film for you. So we're just gonna be going all around downtown and then at some point we're gonna end the video on the corner of uh, Randolph and uh, and State Street, which is 151 North State, right across the street from the from the Chicago Theater. All right, now we're approaching Ohio Street. Again, it's very dusty, as you can see from the from the construction they're doing here, from the pavement of. All right, I'm gonna actually cross. Because nobody, uh, nobody's coming. Well, actually, I'm not gonna cross because the guy took his time. All right, this is the corner of Ohio and uh, Michigan Avenue. This is Ohio Street. I just noticed the. Uh, The uh, traffic lights for pedestrians on, on the other side of the street are now working. I don't know if this is because of the construction, maybe they cut down some of the electrical power so they can do the, the digging and the repavement here. But on this side of the street is working. Okay, we got the green light. And then we got an ambulance coming. So I'm gonna stop talking until the ambulance uh, leaves the area That was, that was ambulance 28, uh, it covers the downtown area. And earlier we saw number 11 uh, in uh, Streetyville. They both responded to, uh, to medical emergencies. All right, we're gonna cross and go on the other side now. This is Michigan Avenue. And then you can see there is Police cars here are stationed permanently the, the whole day just to keep the peace. I'm gonna take a picture of Michigan Avenue. I have to remind myself that uh, that I have to be that I can take a picture while I'm filming the video. All right, uh, it's a little bit crowded over here, and I'm gonna show you show you shortly. Uh, the Chicago River and these are the stores here Hugo Boss very very hard to pronounce these stores they had some interesting names and then you can see the Chicago Tribune Tower right over there built in uh, 1925 Neo-Gothic style. 
And then we're approaching East uh, Illinois Street. East Illinois Street. This is East Illinois Street right over there. Alright, we're gonna... I'm walking a little bit faster, I don't bump into the crowd here. But look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful flowers. Beautiful flowers. Let's go this way. <laughs> I did so many videos in Chicago, more than a thousand, uh, pro more than probably a thousand three hundred to be exact. And I know exactly where to go, not to go. When there's crowds all around, I don't have to bump into them. All right. Oh, you got music coming from the other side. I have to be very careful with uh, copyright music because it interferes with my video, but um, it's on the other side of the street, on across the street, so we should be good. All right, this is the Plaza of the Americas. Look at this. Look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful picture here. Somebody's on TV there. Luminati's Pizzeria, walk this way. <laughs> I just like reading signs. All right, we're approaching now the the Michigan Avenue Bridge, and then you get a, a beautiful, beautiful view of the of the Chicago River in just a second. People like to take pictures because it's a very uh, beautiful area here to take pictures. I'm surprised there's nobody uh, playing music at this corner. Maybe it's early because they're usually over here and then I try to avoid this area so I don't get the, the music to interfere with my videos. But it looks good. The only thing, only show I have at the moment is the sun glare, which I believe the camera fixes it. But I don't really see what, I, what, the, what you see on the camera now. But here is the Chicago River. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna take a picture. Beautiful, beautiful. There's a a tour about to start here. So this is the Chicago River. Look at the beautiful high rises. That's the London House right across there. All right, let's keep walking. Going. There's a lot of things to show you. We did already uh, film 18 minutes. So this video is gonna be at least at least an hour long. And I'm not gonna go for my appointment too early. I have to be there by 4.15. So we still got plenty of time. Again, this is the Chicago River. Look how beautiful this picture is. And that's the Trump Tower, the second tallest building in uh, in Chicago. One of my uh, favorite buildings. I just love the, the beautiful, beautiful architecture. And look at Michigan Avenue. Look at all the high rises over there. They've been here for a lot, a lot of years. And Chicago, uh, Chicago, I believe, is the birthplace of. The skyscrapers, the modern skyscrapers and the modern uh, architecture. That's you see, you see a beautiful, beautiful uh, architecture of all those buildings. Everywhere downtown, not just uh, Michigan Avenue, but Michigan Avenue in particular. It's amazing because this, you, look at this. Look at this picture. I just took a picture. Look at this beautiful picture here. So now we're on uh, Walker Drive in, uh, in Michigan Avenue. And actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk that way on Walker Drive and go uh, go west so I can show you more. Again, this is the Trump Tower right over here. Very, very, very tall all the way up in the sky. 
took another picture and then right over there you can see the marina towers the twin marina towers right over there beautiful beautiful picture all right i'm gonna try to get on that eye line here i'm safe because i'm in the i'm in the middle of the street but i'm not on the actual street i'm on this island i don't know why this island is here but i did it many 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 times it's very safe no car is gonna hit me all right and this is the these are the marina towers again right over there and then the next street uh, look at this guy in the middle of the street <laughs> he's on the phone he's crossing he's jaywalking and uh, he has the same interest and he has the same colors that the bus here so he may be the driver for that bus good possibility all right now we're staying on this island here all right at some point i'm gonna cross the street and go on the other side i'm i'm safe i just wanted to see the beautiful picture all right i'm gonna take another picture look at this look at this picture look at this look at this all right, this is uh, Walker, Walker Drive. Next street is gonna be Wabash. Wabash Avenue. And uh, let's get on the sidewalk, it'll be safer. This guy is parked in the middle of the street, it's his toe zone. <laughs> pigeons here looking for food a little beautiful picture I'm gonna take another I'm gonna keep taking pictures because it's beautiful 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 day all right let's see here where we're gonna go can't go that way there's no traffic light for pedestrians but we're gonna go this way and this is, uh, I believe, Wabash Avenue. And then we get to see some trains. There's a train tracks over here, right above the street. It's been here for 100 years. And then you can see the time right on the wall there. It's uh, 2.40 p.m. on uh, Tuesday, September 13, 2022. And this is the corner of uh, East Walker Place and Wabash Avenue. All right. I'm just waiting for the for the green light. All right, we got the we got the green light, so we're gonna keep. Uh, we're gonna keep walking. The next uh, street will be Lake Street. And then you see the train tracks over there. So hopefully we'll see a train. Hopefully we'll see a train go here. Uh, speaking of the train, here it comes. There is one of them. I just love the sound. That's the L elevator train. Look how beautiful the elevator train is. They call it L for short, it's elevated and it keeps going in circles here on uh, in the loop. But it's elevated as you can see it's above the ground. Alright, this is Lake Street and uh, and Wabash Avenue. Now we have some music coming out of the hotel, so I have to 
keep walking fast so I can uh, override the, uh, the music. And I've got the green light as well, which is good. So this is Lake Street and Wabash, and Wabash Avenue. I'm gonna go a little bit faster because the people in front of me are vaping. <laughs> and this is a restaurant here. Elephant. Elephant and Castle. All right, let's keep walking uh, south on uh, Wabash Avenue. Again, it's a beautiful day. It's about 70 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit right now. The day started in the morning, very not very cold, but cool. People were wearing jackets in the morning because I had to go and I had to go to a doctor's appointment and I had to go grocery shopping. And I was the only one without a jacket. And I feel a little bit cool. And you can see, still people are wearing jackets from this morning because they got really nowhere to put them. So they're wearing them. And then, uh, and then I, uh, I went grocery shopping. There is another train. Beautiful, beautiful picture. Yeah, anytime, any anytime I film on Moabash Avenue, uh, I get to I get to record the trains as well. So we saw two of them at least. All right, let's see where we're gonna go. This is Randolph and Moabash. There's another train, but it's making a, some weird noises. <laughs> so here it is. Another train. Wabash Avenue. Beautiful, beautiful picture. Actually, let's go this way and let's stay on the uh, bicycle lane. And no bicycles coming behind me. Actually, I'm not on the bicycle. I'm on all these uh, stripes here. You see, people are parking in the middle of the street. A bicycle lane. I look behind me. No, there's no bicycles. So let's just keep uh, keep walking on uh, Randall Street. I'm on the street now. And this is the theater district. You can see a theater there, Netherlander Theater, and the, the Palace Cadillac Theater further down. All right, let's go back on the sidewalk. So we're walking now uh, west on uh, Randall Street in the theater district. So this is Randolph and State. Oh, okay, good. This is the, <laughs> the pharmacy I'm supposed to go for my COVID shot. I thought it was on the other side of the street, but that's the whole Navy. So it's this, it's on this side of the street. Alright, so, so we're good, the pharmacy hours until 7, uh, at least I know where to go now for my appointment. We're right over here, so this is uh, State and Randolph, State and Randolph. Let's just walk, let's just take another picture before I cross. Alright. And then what I do, I use the pictures, I use them for thumbnails for the video or I post them uh, on Instagram. So if you like to see uh, my photographs in addition to the videos, uh, follow me on uh, Instagram. 
same handle Chris Cruzans presents I'm also on Twitter I'm on TikTok also for uh, shorter shorter videos up to 10 minutes and uh, and you're watching this video on YouTube right now so I'm on YouTube look at this beautiful picture of uh, State Street yeah I want to take another picture all right so we did already uh, film 30 minutes like I said in the beginning this video is gonna be at least an hour long maybe longer because I don't have to come back to that pharmacy until 415 actually I, I will try to be there by 4 at least I know where is that now so now we're approaching uh, Washington Street stayed in Washington and I'm gonna show you this uh, mural I always like to uh, I always like to show this mural to every to every every time I pass through here of Muddy Waters it's a 10-story uh, mural of Muddy Waters there it is right over there the late uh, blues musician that lived in Chicago for more than 20 years beautiful beautiful and it was uh, painted by uh, an artist from Brazil named Cobra K-O-B-R-A all right this is State Street State in Washington as soon as I cross the street I'll show you the mural again in case you missed it because I'm walking a little bit fast there it is, we're gonna get a better picture now. I'm gonna take a picture as well. And then you can see the artist name right at the at the bottom. Cobra K-O-B-R-A. And he's from uh, from Brazil. And that's the Lady Mighty Water. So let's just cross on uh, on Washington Street and then we're gonna make a ride and go west on Washington until we see uh, Dearborn. Now, there's three things I want to show you over here that I really like. <laughs> People texting right in the middle of the sidewalk. Okay, the first one is going to be this one here. I want you to be pay, pay attention here. There's two buildings here that you see. A black one on the right and a brown one on the, on the left. But these buildings are not here. We're on the other side of the street. So this is the reflection. So this is a... This is like a mirage. An illusion, an optical illusion. You see? Let me show it to you again. You see these two buildings there? These two buildings are not here. They're on the other side of the street. And they, they actually, there's a building there, like a mirrored building. It's beautiful. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to go on the other side of the street now and show you the, where the, build, the actual buildings are located. Hopefully I'm going to get hit by a car. I can know it is coming. I just have to be very careful. So these are the two buildings that I was showing you. You see the one on the left and the one on the right. The black one on the left, the brown one, brownish color on the right. That's the actual location of the building. We're on the corner of Dearborn and Wabash. Correction, Dearborn and Washington. All right, I'm gonna take another picture here. So this is the first thing I wanted to show you. Three things in this corner, in the next corner as well that I like. Now the second thing I'm gonna show you, uh, it's, uh, it's on Daly Plaza there. It's a sculpture. It's the Chicago Picasso. So the Picasso uh, sculpture that was built in 1967. I want to show it to you in just a second. It's about 50 feet tall and weighs 162 tons. And here it is right over there. The one with the flags there. I'm going to take another picture. 
There you go, and this is the Daily Center. And then this sculpture, the Picasso sculpture is located at the Daily Plaza. Right over there. And that's the Cook County building there. So let's walk this way now since we got the green light for another for a few more seconds. We're gonna walk now on uh, Dearborn. We're gonna walk uh, south on Dearborn. So I'll show you two things that I like so far. I'm gonna show you the third one in just a second. And the third one I'm gonna make a disclaimer because the the the, the I've been telling you all along. But that was a second uh, Picasso, Picasso sculpture, and it's not. <laughs> I found that out just by uh, just by watching videos on YouTube. Uh, somebody mentioned it, and I, that's why I found out. And I, I want to correct myself from the past. It is not a Chicago sculpture. It's a, it's a it's a different sculpture, but I'm going to show it to you in just a second, and I'm going to give you the the information. We're not there yet. We'll be there uh, probably two more two more blocks. All right, now I'm going to show you the Chase Chase Bank building. Look at this! Look how beautiful and tall this building is. It's the Chase building. Look at that, all the way up in the sky. And that's on the corner of uh, Madison and Dearborn. So this is Dearborn, the one we're on, and that's Madison on the other side. All right, let's just cross the street, and this is uh, this is Madison right over here. So actually, let's just walk on Madison. Let's just walk west on Madison, and then we'll come around uh, to the Federal Plaza because that's what I want to show you. The third thing, the, the sculpture, that is not a Picasso sculpture, which is located on the Federal Plaza. But since I'm right in front of the Chase Building again. I'm gonna show it to you again. I'm gonna go real slowly this time, so I wanna shoot, see the logo as well. Might as well give him some credit. There you go. You see, that's the Chase. Chase building. There we go, I'm going real, real slowly. It's probably 80 stories tall, that's my guess. If not more, there it is. Look at this. Look at this building. Look at that. Unbelievable. All right. Let's just keep walking. Uh, let's just keep walking west on uh, Madison Street. And then look how wide the street is. There's a there's a lane here just for buses. You're gonna see the bus coming. Any second now, I'll stay here so you can see. There's the bus, number 124, and, and also the number 20 bus, Madison com bus comes through here. So the next the intersection is Clark and Madison. As soon as we get to the light, I'm gonna show you the the buildings, I must well show it to you now. There's the buildings on Clark and Madison. Real, real tall. All right. So we're on Madison Street now, going, uh, going west. Since I got another hour for my, uh, for my uh, Walgreens COVID shot appointment, I'm gonna take the very, very long way before I show you the, the Federal Plaza.
All right, we're just crossing now. This is uh, Madison and Clark. And there's a beautiful church I want to show you over here. Beautiful Catholic church. We'll see. It's a very an old building, so the, the the church has been there. That's usually the case in downtown Chicago. The churches are here before the skyscrapers were built. That's why you don't see anything, anything on top of the church. And let's find out which church is this. I know it's a Roman Catholic church. Oh, it's St. Peter's, St. Peter's Catholic Church. And look how beautiful the, that's Jesus right over there, crucified. It's very, very, uh, I'll take a picture. Very, very, very tall sculpture there. Probably two stories long. It's a small building, relatively speaking. Let's see if it's open, if we can go inside. Because lately I've been, I've been going inside the churches. Hello, can I go in and take a picture? Yeah. Where is where is the church at? Yeah, it's open. It's open. Um, right in here. That's right in there. Okay, thank you. Yeah. There's a couple of people in there, though, so. Okay, thank you. Wow, this is St. Peter Church. That was really, really refreshing. Beautiful, I felt real good in there. This is St. Peter's Catholic Church. I'm Greek Orthodox originally from Cyprus, but I grew up in a Roman Catholic boarding school called Terra Santa in Nicosia, Cyprus. So I also received the first communion from there. So I'm kind of both Catholic and Greek Orthodox. And that really, really felt good in there this is uh, St. Peter's Catholic Church right on uh, Madison Street and if you want to find out more about this church just go on Facebook uh, facebook.com slash 
St. Peter's Loop. Or you can go on Twitter with the same uh, address. Or you can go on uh, on the internet. The website is stpetersloop.org. I'm going to take another picture so I can have the information. So I may do a separate video. Just like I did uh, a few months ago of the Holy Name Cathedral. That I actually went inside and uh, filmed it. Just like that, I, I look at the door, door was open, I asked permission. Wow, this is the first time I'm been inside this church. This is, in the, keep in mind, this is in the middle of downtown. Time to take another picture. I've been in Chicago almost 40 years. I've never been inside that church. I filmed it many times on the outside. I've never been inside, so I'm glad I did. And I hope you liked it. All right, now we can just get to see the temperature. It's 70 degrees Fahrenheit, just the corner of uh, Madison and LaSalle. I don't know if you can see it, it's uh, 3.02 p.m. on uh, Tuesday, September 13, 2022. The temperature is 73 degrees Fahrenheit. beautiful beautiful picture again it was cooler in the morning and now it's warming up all right let's just take another picture before we cross all right so now I'm walking uh, I'm walking south on La Salle Street towards the Board of Trade and then when we get to the Federal Plaza, I'll show you the sculpture that I was talking about. That's the third thing I wanted to show you. So I'm glad we took the, the long way to go there because we got to, to get inside that uh, beautiful church. And uh, I'm probably gonna make a, a short video. Oh, there's some music right here, so I have to walk a little bit fast and walk over the video and talk over the video. So I may have to, I may make, uh, actually I'm going to do it, I'm going to do a short video for uh, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and in addition to YouTube where, um, where I filmed the church, the St. Peter's Church uh, in the loop on Madison Street and, I'm, and uh, I may keep it intact, uh, the audio intact or I may add some uh, church music. I'm gonna take another picture. This is La Salle Street. That's the Board of Trade. All right. Just keep walking uh, south on uh, La Salle Street. The next intersection here is La Salle and Monroe. La Salle and Monroe. And this is, by the way, the financial district of downtown, of central downtown Chicago. The central financial district where all the financial institutions are located from the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, from the Al Capone years, etc. I'm going to show you a real beautiful architecture here. All these buildings, and I got the green light, so I have to rush to cross out and get hit by a, by a car. All right, let's keep walking on. Uh, Salt Street. So hopefully this video is not shaking much as the the last one. Not because of the of the camera actually stabilizes the video, but the last video I had uh, I'm walking in downtown Chicago, I had to stabilize it again for the second time because. Uh, the camera was a little bit tilted to the right and I didn't realize that until I saw the video. I think the reason was because it was raining and I had an umbrella. When I have an umbrella on my left hand and I have the camera and the stabilizer like a gumball, gumball I had on the, on, the, on the right side and then it kind of tilts to the right or to the left the camera and the video is perfectly not shaky but it was tilted 
so I had to fix that. But this time I think we're good. This video looks very good. And uh, now we're approaching Adams Street, Adams and uh, LaSalle, we're on 135 North LaSalle. And there's another uh, beautiful bank over there of, uh, this is National Bank and Trust Company. Actually, I'm gonna show it to you and also take a picture. There it is. Look at look how beautiful this architecture is. I'm gonna go slow so you can see from the bottom going up. Look at that. I think it's more like neoclassic. I'm pretty sure this was built like in the Al Capone years. I always like to refer to it as the Al Capone years, the 20s, the 30s, the 40s. <laughs> Not that I like Al Capone, it's just that I just like saying that so people pay more attention to the to the video or to what I'm saying. All right, Adams and uh, actually I'm gonna take a picture of Adams, Adams Street here. All right, and then we're gonna go back on LaSalle. Is that, I'm gonna show you this bank again, I'm right in front of you now. It's called City National Bank and Trust Company. At least that was the original name. Now you may have a different name now. There it is. All right. So let's just go. Uh, go this way. And what do you know? Another new classic building over there. Another bank from the Alcabon years. And then you got the Chicago Board of Trade probably from the same uh, era as well. But look how beautiful the Chicago Board of Trade is. I'm gonna get in the middle of the street because nobody's coming except that bus. <laughs> and look at this. Look how beautiful that structure is. And there's actually like a statue on top of the building. All right. And then I'm gonna show you uh, in just a second, I'm going to show you also the Sears Tower, the Willis Tower. Uh, it used to be the tallest building in the world when I when I came to Chicago in 1983. Now it's no longer the case. Well, here, here it is, right over there. Actually, I'm going to go. Let me go right across the street so I get a better view. I'm not going to go in front of it. It's a little bit far away from here. Not far, but I, it's out of my way. But I'm going to go slowly and show it to you about two blocks away so this is the Sears Tower the Willis Tower more than a hundred stories tall yeah. or even take a picture beautiful beautiful uh, structure and then you got over here the the Federal Reserve Bank of Chicago is in this building I'm gonna take another picture here And then you got another one on the left. It looks just like the one on the other side. But this is a... Uh, this is the Wind Trust Final Show. I you can't see it from here. But I'm gonna... I'm right in front of it. And look at this. Look how beautiful this building is. So today I may do uh, two videos, two two uh, two walking videos. The video that we started in Streetville is going to end up in Randolph and uh, State when I go to my uh, appointment for my COVID shot. And then after when I come out on the way to Streetville, I'm going to do another one from over there. This is 231, by the way, South LaSalle Street. Now I'm in front of the Chicago Board of Trade. I'm going to show you to the building again. Then you hear a train coming on the right. Look at this. Look at this building. Look how beautiful the building is. Look at that. It's the Chicago Board of Trade. 
and uh, all right now we're gonna head it to the to the federal plaza the one I was telling I wanted to show you the third the third thing I wanted to show you three things I show you two so far one was the, the optical illusion on the corner of Washington and uh, and Dearborn the second one was uh, was the Picasso That's what it's called, the Picasso, the Picasso sculpture. And then the third one I want to show you is the one that I kept telling you was a Picasso second sculpture, and it's not. I'm going to give you the name of the of the artist and some history of it because I kind of memorized it as well. Once we get there, so I'll already tell you when I show it to you. All right, we're on. Uh, I think this is Jackson Boulevard. I didn't see the sign uh, on the street, but it looks like Jackson Boulevard and uh, Clark Street. Let me show you some of the buildings. And this is actually the... We're, appro we're approaching, like I said, the Federal Plaza, which means it's the Federal... These are all Federal Government buildings. It's a little bit on the dark side, like that. Dark-looking buildings. That's, that's, the, that's how I, I recognize... Oh, yeah, that is Jackson Boulevard. It was Jackson Boulevard. Good. Boulevard and Clark and there's another one another federal building here I think that's the Kuczynski building all right we got the green light I want to take another picture now of Clark Street all right and then we're gonna go to the to the federal plaza that's where all the federal the United States federal government buildings are located in Chicago or in one place. I'm sure there are more than these buildings, but these are the, this, the high rises. So this is the Kaczynski building, I believe it's called. That's what the IRS, the passport office, and other federal agencies are in the Midwest. Yeah. And then right over there, you see the, the U.S. Post Office. Which is the federal, it's not a federal government building, but it's a better federal supported building agency. So this is the building I just showed you. It's, the, it's called the John C. Kluzinski building, federal building. And it's 230 South. Dearborn Street. There it is. Now, this is where I'm gonna correct myself. <laughs> well, I kept telling you this is the second, I'm gonna take a picture like this. This is the second Picasso building, I kept, uh, sculpture I kept telling you in all these videos. I was totally wrong. It's not a Picasso sculpture. The actual, uh, let's see if my memory, I'm gonna refresh my memory now. This is called the flamingo sculpture. Sculpture. You see, it looks like a flamingo. And it's an American artist that did this. His name is Alexander Calder. C-A-L-D-E-R. And it's 53 foot tall. 16 meters tall. And it's made out of steel. 50 tons of steel. And it was uh, built, believe it or not, in 1974 and this is in the Federal Plaza and I don't know why I thought it was a Picasso I guess it kind of resembles a little bit the other one but it's not the Flamingo sculpture that's what it's called and uh, I tried to see uh, anything around this uh, sculpture that tells you about the artist. I didn't see it before, but now I'm going to go underneath and look for it. Just in case there is a... Uh... Alright, there's nothing here. In case there is anything written about the sculpture or the artist or even a signature or anything. I don't see anything. So please tell me, the viewers that are watching this video, where to look for next time if you know exactly where the... The artist's name is on this sculpture somewhere because I read somewhere that there is some kind of a signature somewhere in there. But I don't see it. 
I don't see uh, anything. And it's a, it's a shame that Chicago, nobody thought about it in Chicago, put a sign here to tell you what we're looking at. I don't know. And it's not actually a city of Chicago issue. It's a federal issue because this is a federal property. So anybody in the United States Congress or government or even the artist himself, if you're watching, please request that they put something in there to give you credit. Because I found out from YouTube for another from another artist when I was watching another video who the who painted, who created this thing. Not painted, but it's, it's, a, it's a sculpture, obviously. Again, the artist, it's, 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 the name is Flamingo Sculpture by American artist Alexander Calder. I hope I'm saying their name, last name correctly, C-A-L-D-E-R. It's 53 foot tall, 16 meters tall, made out of steel, 15 tons, tons of steel, and it was built in 19... 74 and look how beautiful this area is this is the federal 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 area now across the street I'm gonna show you in just a second is the Dirksen field built federal building and the courts these are courts these were all the federal cases criminal court cases civil cases any kind of case that has to go to federal court in Illinois and in the Midwest goes right through there in this building this uh, structure all right so these are courts it's a courthouse it's called the United States Courthouse Dirk Dirksten building for sure it's a very long name but I'm only gonna take you the additional part now this is the post office again I'm gonna take another picture and I'm on Federal Plaza again this is a uh, Federal uh, U.S. government uh, property. That's why the city of Chicago didn't put anything because it's not on city property. But if you're part of the U.S. government, please, please give this artist some credit and put his name, like a little plaque, like a name, and uh, to recognize this artist. Maybe I'll send a letter to the government or an email when I get a chance, but I'm really, really disappointed that there is no credit to the artist. I mean, you know how many people come through here? Thousands and thousands and thousands of people every day and millions every year. They usually use this plaza for demonstrations, celebrations, all kinds of, uh, all kinds of events. When they want to send a message to the federal government, good or bad, they just come here and uh, and uh, congregate. All right, now I'm gonna wait. Actually, this cross since I got the green light, and this is the corner of Dearborn and Adams. So let's just walk on uh, on Adams. I'm gonna go all the way as far as we can go to go to uh, to go to Michigan Avenue. So I can show you the the Art Institute. I still got the green light, so I'm just gonna take a picture. Now I got the green light, so we're crossing. And speaking of uh, interesting places, I want to show you. That's the Barkov uh, restaurant there, Berghof. I believe it's a German restaurant. I think I think it's the oldest restaurant. In downtown Chicago, it was built. It opened in uh, in the 1800s. You can see the exact date on the window, but I'm too far away to to see the date. But this is the Berkhoff restaurant. Look how beautiful this is number seven bus, by the way. Look how beautiful it is and small. And look at this buildings behind them. And again, this is from the 1800s, and it's still standing there. And the restaurant is still there. So let's just uh, let's just go straight. And the next street we're gonna see is State Street, but 
I'm too early for my for my uh, COVID shot appointment, so I'm not gonna go to there. I'm gonna go straight and show you the show you the the art institute. And we may or may not see some street bands playing music over there on Michigan Avenue or on State Street. I haven't filmed them in a while, but who knows? Anything is possible here. All right, this is State Street in uh, Adams. I got the green light, so I'm going to cross. We got 15 seconds. I'm sure we can make it. All right, all the cars will make it as well. Almost there. Okay, good. We all made it. Both cars and pedestrians. And uh, and then we're gonna keep walking uh, on uh, walking actually east, I believe, on Adams towards Michigan Avenue. Some people screaming behind me, having fun. Hopefully you didn't hear that in the video. <laughs> There's some interesting stories. We're approaching Wabash Avenue that we went earlier and saw the uh, trains and we may see some more trains going by. It's Jimmy's Gyros and Grill right here. Okay, there's another train, but you cannot see it. You can hear it only. This is covered. All right, let's just keep walking. Uh, walking east on Adam Street towards Michigan Avenue. And this is Wabash. This is Wabash Avenue. Beautiful, beautiful uh, area. All right, we got the green light, so let's just cross. Somebody on the skateboard there. Probably coming back from school. He has the school bag in his back. And you got a CTA bus coming. Gotta get on the sidewalk. Another CTA bus right behind it. It's the number one bus to Union Station, Bronze Union Station. The number 26 bus, Jackson to Austin. Two different buses going to two different places. And they're picking up passengers from the bus shelter that you saw over there. All right, now we're approaching uh, Michigan Avenue. As you can see, this is the Chicago Art Institute. Do you have a beautiful landmark? One of the well-known museums all over the world. Probably the number one museum in Chicago. And by the way, Chicago has a lot of museums. I filmed this video before on the outside I took pictures on the inside back in uh, I want to say December 2014 or or in uh, or uh, January 2015 but they didn't allow me to film a video they said no videos pictures only and then pictures with no flash no idea why but that was a long time ago so hopefully uh, one of these days I go inside and film it if it's allowed. But even the outside is beautiful. Look how beautiful this structure is. I'm just going to take a, a picture of it. All right, and now we're on uh, Michigan and Adams. Take another picture of the skyline here.
All right, let's just walk uh, north on Michigan Avenue now. So we did an hour and 10 minutes already of this video. So this video is probably gonna be an hour and uh, 30 minutes, less than two hours for sure. And then after my uh, COVID appointment at Walgreens, then we do another one, or we may or may not do another one. Hopefully I still got some battery in there. Going back to Streeterville from, uh, from the loop. But for now, uh, we still have time for my appointment. We're gonna keep, uh, keep filming and we're on Michigan Avenue. Michigan Avenue going north. That's the big bus right over there. UPS truck right over there. And now we're approaching Monroe. Monroe and Michigan. That bus is making a lot of noise. Very, very noisy engine. Hopefully it's environmentally friendly. But look how beautiful the skyline is over here. All right. This is Monroe and uh, Michigan Avenue. Take another picture. All right, we got the green light. So we're gonna cross. across from Michigan Avenue it's getting a little bit narrow here and there's a lot of people on the sidewalk so I'm gonna try to stay more on the sidewalk that is towards the street see I, I can still I can still walk on the sidewalk on this side very very small sidewalk but there's nobody on this sidewalk the rest of the sidewalk is is filled with people I don't want to bump into anybody while I'm I'm filming. All right, and uh, and then you can see Millennium Park on the other side. Beautiful, beautiful flowers. Even the cafes and restaurant have flowers there and plants. So we're just walking. Uh, North now, Michigan Avenue. Beautiful, beautiful day, afternoon. It's now 3.30 p.m. on uh, Tuesday, September 13, 2022. And we're doing a Chicago walking video. We started from Streeterville and now we're on, uh, we're, now we're on uh, Michigan Avenue. Walking north, and the next intersection here is uh, Michigan Avenue and uh, Madison Street. Actually, there's an airplane I want to show you. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. This is an airplane. I like airplanes in my videos. All right, we got the green light, so they just cross on uh, Madison Street. This is Madison Street right here. I'm going to take a picture. And uh, now we hear some sirens. I don't know if it's a ambulance or a fire truck. It's just responding to a call. All right, they went east towards the Lake Ransau. So we won't see them, we just hear them. And now there's the Illinois State Medical Society, 20 North Michigan Avenue. And uh, now we're approaching uh, Randolph Street. I'm 
approaching Randall Street. No, we're not approaching Randall Street. That's <laughs> that's Washington Street. Okay, Randall Street is uh, the other uh, two more streets down. So this is Washington Street and Michigan Avenue. A lot of people crossing the street, and then we're going, we're going straight on Michigan Avenue. You see the 147 bus right across there. We got some music behind me. We try to, we try to get out of the way from the music. So let's go this way on Washington Street because I don't want the music in the video. Somebody has a boombox and he's playing music. All right, I'm away from the music now. So I'm on uh, I'm on Washington Street now. Two UPS trucks here are making deliveries. I'm gonna stay on the bike lane because nobody's coming. No bicycles. There is a bicycle coming. Actually, I'm back on the sidewalk. So that's a good thing about downtown. They got this bicycle bicycle lanes here there is a bicycle coming this way but he's waiting for the light and look at this beautiful beautiful street here with the, with the fire uh, emergency exits from the 20s Another train, so we're back, back on Wabash. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful picture. All right, we're on Wabash in Washington now. And uh, let's just go. Uh, let's just go straight to State Street. And I'm gonna start heading towards my appointment on State and Randolph. I'm gonna go a little bit early. Hopefully, I'll get out of there early. I'm gonna get the third booster of COVID, and I may also get uh, the flu shot if it's offered at the same time. I heard you can get both of them, both shots at the same time. This is Wabash Avenue. Take a beautiful, a pic, take a picture. All right. And let's see if there are any bicycles coming. No, no bicycles. Uh, there is a bicycle coming on that side. So I'm back on the sidewalk. There's the bicycle. Beautiful, beautiful that they have the these green lanes for uh, cyclists and you got a lot of traffic here and 124 bus to Navy Pier via loop just picking up uh, passengers from the bus shelter here nobody uh, nobody behind me this is a 124 bus. All right, more people on bicycles. All right, let's walk this way. Now you hear the train behind me on Wabash. We don't see it, but we hear it. Because it's very loud. Beautiful, beautiful day. As you saw the temperature on the wall earlier, the temperature on this side of downtown is 74 degrees Fahrenheit. It's supposed to go all the way up to 80 as the day progresses, but right now it's 74 degrees Fahrenheit. Beautiful, beautiful, comfortable temperature. No humidity. Somebody behind me on the phone cursing and <laughs> talking politics. 
So I'm trying to get away from him. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go out this way. So this is Washington Street. All right, I'm just waiting for the light, but I'm gonna take another picture since I'm standing here. All right, now we got the green, green light, and this is uh, Washington Street. And now we're on State Street. And that's the Marshall Field and Company Building, State in Washington. I'm gonna show you the building. Marshall Fields building, uh, the department store was bought, bought by Macy's. That's why you see the, the war Macy's here. The name is fading out, but this is uh, State Street. And we're walking, uh, we're walking north on State Street now. And uh, and this is the, the subway exit only. So that's Macy's on the right. And then we're uh, approaching the Chicago Theater. Somebody on the phone here cursing. <laughs> she doesn't talk anymore because she's listening. The heart of progress. I don't know what that means. This is just ads for the for the bus shelters. All right, this is the red line. That's the subway. And uh, I actually have arrived to my appointment. So let's see what we're gonna do. Do I really want to go early? Probably yes, because I they take me early. I can come back into a second video. We're turning back to Streeterville. All right, now we're in the corner of uh, State and Randolph. That's where I'm going, the Walgreens. You see the W there, it's a pharmacy. My appointment is for 4, 4.30. So I'm almost 45 minutes early. But who knows, they may take me early. So I'm gonna show you now Randolph Street. Actually, it's just across the street. And this is State Street. This is State Street. It's crossing the street. And then around the theater there. Old Navy across the street. So this is the Chicago Theater right over there. We're in the corner of Randolph. And State Street, taking a picture. And then we're gonna cross the street. And then we're gonna go back on the other side and end the video. So, this video is gonna end pretty soon. Thank you everybody for watching. So, today, uh, today you have uh, Il Vova playing over there, the Chicago Theater. All right, we got the green line, so they just cross. And this is a uh, state street looking south. I'm in the middle of the street, literally. I'm gonna take a picture. All right. So let's walk a little bit towards the that's where I'm going, 151 North State Street. And this is the Chicago Theater, right over here. All right, this is gonna be a one hour and 25 minute video, walking video in downtown Chicago. Thank you everybody for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe underneath this video. And try not to skip the ads before, during, and after the video. Thank you everybody. This is Chris Cruzans. It's about almost 3.45 p.m. 
on Tuesday, September 13, 2022. Thank you for watching.